1202 into a breaking news update now. The booms and the shakes are back in Clintonville. In the span of 15 minutes, almost 60 calls flooded police around 1030 last night. Our Nick Montez is live in Clintonville to tell us what's going on today. Nick. Yeah, good afternoon, Vince and Melissa. It's been a quiet few days here in Clintonville. Residents tell me they thought they were past all these mysterious booms, but now they're concerned again. At Schultz's Bluebird Cafe in Clintonville, the House specials aren't the only discussions on the table. Tuesday night's mysterious booms are getting a lot of attention. I thought this morning I heard a couple of them, but I wasn't sure. Bluebird regular Merritt Saucy is sure he heard the booms last week. Yes, they were louder than like if somebody was unloading a semi down the block from my house. It was just a big boom and it came from the that direction. Kathy Sexton lives in the northwest part of the city. She's very concerned after hearing the first loud boom just after 1030, enough to stop her in mid-conversation. My daughter just come to pick up her son and we all heard it. It was just a big boom. And a few minutes later, another big boom. It scared Kathy's daughter. She said, I felt the house shake on that one. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Police received 60 calls in 20 minutes from worried residents. However, there were some less calls to the south and a few more calls towards the west. Clintonville is working with the USGS to determine the exact cause of the booms. Last week, they said a 1.5 quake set the booms off. It has to be geological. We've looked at so many other things that we've crossed off the list. Certainly scary moments for residents here in Clintonville. The city administrator tells me that they are talking to the USGS sometime this afternoon and they will continue to monitor the area. On your side in Clintonville, Nick Montes for today's TMJ4. Nick, I know you want to get back home, but real quick, we don't have any reports of these booms and any of these shakes from daytime hours. Is that right? Well, they, I would, from what I'm told, they do occur during the day, but since most people are home at night, that's when they're mostly felt and heard. So that's what I'm being told from the city administrator. All right, Nick Montez, live in Clintonville for us.